Hey y'all, it's fall. So I'm gonna write a little fall bucket list and try and get all those things checked off. So let's begin. We're gonna start making a little fall bucket list. I was like looking at Pinterest to try and find like inspiration for this stuff, but I can't just post a Pinterest bucket list and be like trying to accomplish it because of copyright. I feel like the essential to fall is a pumpkin spice latte. Obviously carved pumpkins, okay? Because that is a crucial fall activity. And my mom bought me two little pumpkins and you best believe I will be carving that. When you carve a pumpkin, you gotta get those seeds out and you gotta roast some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Okay, I saw a lot of things about sweaters and wearing sweaters and wearing fuzzy socks. So obviously I'm gonna do that. It was like thrift a sweater, but I already have a lot of sweaters. So they mentioned fuzzy socks. The fuzzy socks that I have have holes in the toes, much like all of my socks. Maybe I'm not really buying quality socks, but I have holes in like, okay, maybe not these ones, but catch me later in the day and I probably will be wearing socks with holes in the toe. One time I was wearing socks and literally the whole bottom of it was just a massive hole. We're gonna get some fuzzy socks. And while I'm at the store, I thought, you know those like really cute little cookie things that everyone buys that are so chemically, but they're really good. And we're gonna bake some cookies because that is such a fall activity. Next up, I saw a lot of things that said soup. I feel like soup is very fall, but I have never made soup. So we're gonna try and make soup today because it's a fall, fall thing. So soup making. Oh yeah, of course we can't forget a walk in the fall foliage. A lot of them said bonfire, but like what, where am I supposed to have a bonfire? You know what, I don't care, we're gonna get creative. What if I did pick out Halloween costume? I literally hate coming up with Halloween costumes. We got our list. Let's try to accomplish this. Okay, first thing to do to start off a fall day is to create a pumpkin spice drink. Now today I'm gonna to be making a pumpkin spice latte. Let, let me bring it with me. First, we got the espresso. It's already been cooking. Okay, I already did it. And then next up, I'm going to take some milk and we're going to froth it, froth it up. So I got this like Starbucks almond and oat non-dairy coffee enhancer and it's like pumpkin spice latte flavor. So what I've been doing is just pouring a little bit into the espresso. Beautiful. Here are the little baby pumpkins that I got to carve. I have no idea what I want to do, but first you gotta, you gotta get the goop out. Maybe I need like a can- Ah! Okay. Kind of getting the hang of it. I haven't carved pumpkins in a minute. Oh sweet. I think we're gonna do a classic little jack-o'-lantern. Oh, this is gonna take so long. Let's begin. I think first I'm gonna do a typical jack-o'-lantern. Oh god. These eyes are uneven. You know, don't people usually like draw? Look at that. That's like so Halloween-y. Now we put a candle in it. Okay. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I don't have little baby tea lights. The best I can do, this candle's too big. Maybe I'll stick a match in there.
Booyah! Here we go, got a little constellation going on right now. Looks kind of bad. I'm kind of pumped to see this one. What the heck? Next thing I will be doing is roasting pumpkin seeds. I kind of forgot how to like do this because again, it's been a while since I've carved any pumpkins or anything like that. So what I know is that you just take off the seeds. If you put it in water, all the seeds float to the top. It's a lot easier than picking all the seeds out. I got out all of the pumpkin stuff. I actually don't really know how to properly cook pumpkin seeds, but I'm just gonna go out on a whim and say we add some olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. Actually, that I don't know if that's actually gonna taste good in there, but whatever. We'll do some vegetable seasoning. Just adding whatever exists in my pantry. Throw it on this super clean pan. There's something so odd about pumpkin seeds. Like, why are they, they're so slimy. Spread them out, nice and good. I have no idea how long to put these in. Should I have consulted a recipe? Yes. Just took these puppies out of the oven. We're gonna do a little taste test. Yum. All right, guys, because it's fall, I'm gonna try on we gotta get an outfit for the day, so I'm gonna try on every knit sweater that I own. I'm not actually going to be wearing a sweater. I'm sorry to disappoint, but it's hot AF outside. It's so hot. Why is it so hot in the end of no uh, October? I don't know. But I gotta get the cookies. Gotta get the soup. Gotta get the fuzzy socks. So let's go. Time to head out. All I could find was soup, so I'm headed to the next door. They don't have the cookies. I'm back. But you know, this, as the saying goes, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, <laughs> you can get what you need. So I'm gonna show you what I got. The only correct thing on the list that I purchased was tomato soup. So I got some tomato soup. This looks so appetizing. Can't wait to munch on this. No idea how to cook it. Just add it to a saucepan. Sweet. But I wanted to get those super chemically cookies, you know, like the like they're like the sugar cookies kind of. But they didn't have them, so I had to get like cinnamon bun roll cinnamon rolls. I feel like these are just as chemically. I know you guys remember me mentioning how all of my socks always have holes in them. So I invested in a good pair of quality socks that hopefully will not get holy on me. These ones are like pretty thick. Look how beautiful they are. Gorge. I've literally never ever made soup in my life. This seems so extraordinary, extraordinarily straightforward. I'm not sure that I could possibly mess this up. Look he thick. This looks like ketchup. No! It literally even looks like ketchup. No. Oh. Okay, I have to add water. That makes, makes some sense. It says that for extra richness, we use milk. And when my parents came to visit, they left milk, and I don't use regular milk, so we're just gonna, it's actually cream. We're gonna add one full cup of cream. Guys, I even have my soup spoon, and I've never got to put it to use. So this is the perfect day for that.
truth and know that this is not how I feel about all soups because I've had soup that I like, but I feel like I'm simply not gonna like this. So I have my bread, a little dip. No. Mm. This is just not for me. Next up, we're doing a lot of cooking today. We're gonna make these cinnamon rolls. I forget how you open this thing. I'm pretty sure you hit it, but this isn't working. Hey, wait, I'm making... Grab one of these bad boys. Literally so delish. This doesn't even look like a real cinnamon bun. What I don't understand is, okay, do the leaves turn orange because it's cold? Like, why do leaves change colors? I'll probably look it up on the internet. I think it's like the lack of the chloroplasts or something. I don't know, I took biology in like grade 12. So like, what is the reason? Because it's hot, so why are they turning orange? And it's also sunny. I was quite mistaken. It turns out the reason is because the chlorophyll breaks down, not the chloroplasts. Nice little bio lesson for you guys today. Also, I don't think it has anything to do with the actual temperature, but I could be completely wrong. I genuinely have no idea wanted to check out this park for a while, so let's go take a look. It literally feels like the middle of July. What is going on? So fall vibes. I want to purchase snow pants so in the winter I can come play in the forest. I wonder if this train, tr these train tracks are active. is the creation of a bonfire. How are you gonna have a bonfire in this city? Well, I asked myself that question too. And then I came up with the idea. Are you guys ready? I don't think we're ready for this. This thing is gonna go crazy. Are we ready? Let's take it outside. This is probably one of the stupidest ideas I've ever had in my entire life. You know what, that was pretty underwhelming. I don't know why I did that. The next big fall activity, I feel, is obviously Halloween, you know? Halloween is big. Halloween is it, you know? That's the final day of October. That is when, you know, we get to dress up, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna try and, like, figure out Halloween costumes. Although I literally have nothing I'm lacking in my Halloween attire, all of the costumes that I might have had are located in Vancouver. You know, I don't have any funky little costumes here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to think of things in my closet. 
to, you know, because I don't want to go out and buy a $60 costume. You know, why can't, why can't I find anything in my, in my home? That's all I want. That's all I want is to have, you know, an outfit. Okay, I'm going to show you some costumes that, you know, but the issue is I think I will have to go and buy something for Halloween because this is, I will show you the options that I have for Halloween. They're horrible. This is like the singular Halloween costume that I was able to come up with. And I bet if you look at this right away, you're like, girl, what even are you? I'm a watermelon. <laughs> this is all I have in my closet. That can even somewhat be noticeably a costume. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. That was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my completing a fall bucket list video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed it though, you know. And if I do post one next week, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.